Fashion in LA is it's a melting pot of a lot of different cultures, so that's why you can get a bunch of different styles coming out of the same city. People are willing to be around people who don't look like them, think like them, don't dress like them. So today I'm wearing a Needles Sherpa beanie that I just got on Super Sale. A lovely hand spray painted t-shirt by my friend AJ. He's really cool. He's made like a whole universe around this character. Love him so much. I got a lovely mesh skirt here. Really nice for the hot LA summers. A nice little carpet inspired bike short underneath. And then some old Adidas boxing shoes from the 90s that happened to be in my size from ebay so i got really lucky i need a piece of me in every single outfit and sometimes that comes to life with you know like an old bag that i've had for years but every day it's my jewelry which all for the most part have been given uh to me by my family they're all hand-me-downs from like my grandma my mom's side my grandpa my dad's side it's those unique pieces that i really feel like bring the outfit together and really help solidify your identity in fashion We got a vintage jersey, I got a flea market, Carhartt pants, and then some Air Forces. Very simple, very sleek, just ready to go. Yeah. Very fly. What about you, bud? I love looking into the past and looking at, like, I think people who were just absolutely fly. The 70s and 80s, honestly, like early 80s in general, is a huge, huge inspiration of mine. The nails are a big part of LA culture. Everyone here has their hands done, their manis, their petties, all fleek. Nobody has just like a classic <laughs> French tip around here. There's always something to it. I was born and raised LA. The quality of life makes being here so easy, probably why I've never left. And that kind of influences style in a way, again, where it just feels kind of effortless. I love these sunglasses. I'm really into a light lens, so you can really see the world in a really beautiful, colored way. My whole outfit's vintage. Thrifted corset, vintage uh, blazer, and I love my JPG skirt. I can't stop wearing it. And like a cute little kitten heel. I wear vintage because, well, one, it's sustainable. I know that's something we really have to be mindful about these days. And also, you just ensure that you're kind of wearing something really unique and one of a kind. I'm wearing a lot of my own brand, The Hundreds. So this hat is by The Hundreds. My, my pants are also by The Hundreds. And these actually work well for today because it's so warm. The way that most people who are into fashion now, when they're uh, putting pieces together, it's such a truer expression of self-identity than you've ever seen before. I'm a big fan of patterns, so here we have pineapple patterns. We have a really watercolor style bag that reminds me of doing drawings. It feels like a canvas. Overall, I think LA is big on collaborations, bringing art and fashion together. So many things here are made in Los Angeles and it's such a big part of the culture. I'm wearing a top that my friend designed. Her brand is Tank Air. I have like a tight skirt on. It's really just comfortable and it can also be a dress. My purse is vintage Miu Miu. Oh, I think I've had this for like five years. I'm a, I constantly wear it. I made my necklace. It's one of the favorite pieces I'm wearing today. It's based on this tattoo. It's a heart with horns. I'm Latina, so like Chicano culture is a huge part of my style influence. I like a little bit of everything. I like structure, but I also love movement and clothes. That really matters to me. 
This top, it's actually a really funny story. I've had this since I was 14. I remember buying it thinking it was really risque and I saved it because I was like, I can't wear it. I was probably in the eighth grade or something, but it's one of my favorite tops and I wear it all the time. This is oddly very sentimental of my awkward middle school years. This skirt is a Wales Bonner skirt and it actually reminds me of a baseball uniform. I'm obsessed with the Dodgers, it's the LA and me, so copped it. My sandals are Prada, um, straight from Italy. Love them, very comfortable. I love sandals, I love, I don't really like covering my feet. I like, I don't know, it's always been my thing, probably because of the feet tattoos. I'm wearing this Kiko Kostaninoff jacket that I just recently got from Dover Street, which is a store that I shop frequently. Um, just a basic cut-off um, beater <laughs> that I basically pair with everything all the time. Um, some little briefs and the super trendy Miu Miu skirt that I had to have, obviously. The Nita Carter Timbaland collab, which I love because it really just brought back the early 2000s. And then I have on this super personal necklace to me. It's of me and my dad. Fashion is really important. It's really an opportunity to project who you are. And, you know, it says a lot about you. When you walk into a room, you don't have to say anything. It's like you'll know maybe somebody's music taste or if they're well-traveled. It's a story about their culture. I like a little Japanese denim, and I'm half Japanese, so you know, I'm always backing them. Tough. These earrings, I got them from a jeweler from Singapore called Singapore Jewels, <laughs> and they're so cute. I love them. My jeweler, Maison Raksha, did this bracelet, did this ring, custom made. This is a uh, a gift from my mother, and these are just like little things from over time. Los Angeles is such a cornucopia. It's so many different cultures, attitudes, and opinions coming together. Everything here is really effortlessly cool and chic. No one thinks too much about what they're wearing. <laughs> 